next video we will be seeing uh, more or less a lab for the vpn gateway uh, before i show you <clears throat> let's understand the scenario first okay so what we will do we know azure vpn gateway can help us do the site to site vnet to vnet and point to site as well for express out we need uh, a lot of other things as well so we are not doing that right now but we have done a lot of things in our previous uh, videos but in this particular series uh, we'll talk express out later so in this lab what we will do we will perform two things the first is site to site and the second is vnet to vnet connectivity these two things all right <clears throat> now you must be wondering how can we do site to site because in site to site one site is on premises and we don't have on premises so to solve that problem what we are doing we are creating two virtual network on azure and we are assuming the other vnet is on premises okay so we can say this is vnet one we are assuming this as on prem first and then we'll assume assume it as a usual azure virtual network when we will try to do vnet to vnet connectivity this is vnet 2 which is azure okay so do not get confused we are creating two virtual networks right here we are creating uh, two virtual networks like i've already done that to save time and lab is not uh, something that I do and you only watch lab is something you actually get the benefit of lab when you perform it Right, so you just learn the idea from this video and try to perform by yourself So these are two vnets that we are already using in previous videos as well So I'm saving some time not creating any other so we have two vnets created and that's what i'm showing here vnet1 we are assuming as an on-prem and vnet2 is the azure vnet now we were creating a <clears throat> site to site tunnel over the internet okay but we are assuming uh, this as on-prem so this is uh, the connectivity site to site will uh, will go over the ms backbone again because both are virtual network that's uh that is behind the scenes just to understand how it works the process the steps will remain the same okay so when we connect it when we connect it uh, we have uh, something called a uh, router here or you can say the on-premises gateway okay there is an on-premises gateway and here we create vpn gateway azure virtual network gateway right this is vpn gateway on azure on their dedicated subnet now there is two things when we assume vnet1 is on premises and vnet2 is uh, azure virtual network and we perform the lab so i'm keep writing the steps here so that you can do you can perform the same thing create vnet uh, two vnets two vnets uh, non overlapping ips okay you have to create this first point here we have chosen 10.1.0 or 10.0.0.0 slash 16 and here we have 10.1.0.0.16 so create two vnet non available ips now here we have the on-premises gateway so what we have to do so that this vnet can talk to another vnet there must be a gateway 
when we think from the on-premises perspective, there is a router or firewalls, but in Azure, and we also call them gateway. So don't get confused. Gateway just like the entry point. So <clears throat> this is, we are assuming this VNet one is on-premises. So we also need a gate from where we can get in. So that we have to create a VPN gateway here as well. So in reality, uh, when you're performing lab, we are creating two VPN gateway, one for the VNet one, one for the VNet two, so that we will get the entry through that gateway in the virtual networks. So the second point is, second point is create two VPN gateways in uh, each of the VNet. That's our second point. So these steps you need to perform in your lab. <clears throat> Till now, let me show you what I have. So these are two VNets. If I click here, the, this is the IP address range under overview, you'll see 16 in VNet for peering. Uh, this is just a name. Don't get confused with the name. Uh, overview is. Uh, will show you the IP address range, which is 10.1.0.0 16. OK, come on, show me taking too much time. Anyway, just trust me. That's the IP address. OK, now let's go to home. Uh, click on uh, virtual network gateways. Or VP. VPN gateways because VPN gateway will take a lot of time. When you create it. OK, it's not that simple like a VM. It takes like 20 to 30 minutes. So if I if that's the reason I have already created the two VPN gateway in each of the virtual network. OK, here are here are the two gateways gateway 0 2 and gateway this. So demo gateway is inside. The VNet one and you can see uh, the public IP address of this gateway and we can we can just assume this is the on-prem okay and this is the on-prem this IP address here is the gateway and this is the public IP address of the gateway when we create gateway we have to define the public IP address that we have seen in previous video now let's get back to this again go to home and click on the gateway to find out its public IP address right here <coughs> and paste it here. This is the public IP address of this. Now these public IP addresses are the uh, information or the gateway so that this gateway can get the information of this and this gateway can get the information of this. So to provide this IP address to this gateway and this IP address to this gateway, there must be something that we need to create. And that thing is Google Network Gateway. OK. So the third point is. Uh, third point is. Not area. OK, now what is local network gateway? It is nothing just the information of this gateway. The local local is on premises network. So information of on premises network is the local network gateway that we will create on Azure. Same goes for the for this because. Uh, we have to provide this information to this virtual network as well. In case of on-premises, in case of real on-premises, you have to provide your information, your public IP address, your shared key and everything to your on-premises team so that they can configure their own router or gateway, whatever they have on-premises. Right? In our case, both are on Azure, so the information of gateways. Let me show you. All right, let me go to home. Uh, we have a local network gateway. This is local network gateway 01. <coughs> uh, okay. Home, home. Local network gateways. We have to, I've created two local network gateways 01 and 02 for which has the information of uh, one virtual network like the IP address and the address space. In two, we have the I public IP address and the address space range of that virtual network, which is this, this 
and this right so this and this information is under local network gateway let me call it uh, local network gateway we have created for this to here which has the information of IP address uh, private IP address range and the public IP and here we have created local network gateway one let's call it one which has the information of this and this okay now <clears throat> fourth point is we have to go to our gateway fourth point is we need to go to our gateway and create connection now we can create the connection how because we have gateway right here from where the traffic can get in we have gateway here from where the traffic get get in now this gateway want to know about this gateway so we have the public ip address of both the gateways and when this gateway knows about this gateway we must have the information the address place as well that information comes as in local network gateway so we have in, uh, information of vnet1 we have information of vnet2 we will provide this information to this guy and this information to this guy and they can connect as you can see so let me show you how it happened now if i go back come to the gateway demo gateway one this is our one under connections we need to click add now here we are creating the connection or providing information to both the gateways about the virtual network now here are the connection type that i was talking about vnet to vnet and site to site these are the two things for this uh, video now if site to site is ours so we click on site to site we need to provide the name <coughs> we can say vnet uh, 1 to vnet 2 from this side this is the name of our connection on gateway now we click on settings here we have to provide the information of see local network gateway is here gateway this is our gateway local network gateway is to here because we have to provide the information of this local network gateway to this guy right and we are configuring this on the gateway one right here and this guy needs to know these information which are coming as in local network gateway that's why we are choosing local network gateway two and there is an authentication method which is the shared key this is something that you will write or you will design or you will define and let the other team know the on-premises team know or the azure team know okay we are from azure so when we define we'll create the shared key and we'll give that information to the on-premises that's how usually happens right and we click on review and create and it will validate and it will create it right but here it will take again some time and we have to cover both the things this piece you guys need to do okay we have completed till validation so this piece you guys need to do perform the lab in your environment okay so <clears throat> connection uh, provide the information under connection add and you have all the information for this so this piece was for site to site you have all the information now for this lab now let's perform another lab which is vnet to vnet so let me create another slide here another paint now this is vnet to vnet now what we are doing again the same thing we have two virtual network created vnet1 and vnet2 in azure okay absolutely same story vnet1 vnet2 both are on azure because it's vnet to vnet that's the title here the address is 10.0.0.0 slash 16 and here is 10.1.0.0 slash 16 so non-overlapping ips now in vnet to vnet we create gateway at both the places because it's not pairing it's gateway so we have to create gateway here vpn gateway and here also vpn gateway 
uh, gateway so that they can connect to each other now since these both are residing in azure right so we need not to create local network gateway we only need to provide the information of gateway we only need to provide the information of gateway to this gateway and information of this gateway to this gateway and that's that's it okay it's absolutely simple and this thing is going over the ms backbone but encrypted now because that's the feature of v, uh, vpn gateway it encrypts right now let me show you this again now let's assume this uh, cancel it uh, let's assume under virtual network this is our azure virtual network one azure virtual network two okay now <clears throat> let's go back to the gateways uh, under demo gateway one right this block this gateway belongs to the vnet one and the demo gateway zero two belongs to the uh, vnet two okay now if i go to the connection again click on add and i let it be vnet to vnet established by directional connectivity we need to give the name now here we have to give the first connection name from vnet 1 to vnet 2 in in second connection name let's call it vnet 2 to vnet 1 right now here is the main thing under settings you see it says second virtual network gateway it is not asking for the local uh, network gateway that is the only difference if you choose vnet 1 we need to provide the second which is 2 right shared key will remain as is the only difference is the local network gateway between side to side and vnet to vnet because this belongs to azure and azure have all the information so we just need to give the name of the gateway right and everything would be remain same if i now click on review and create it will get validated and once you click on create it will create the connection see validation is passed if i click on create it will create the connection and you would have the vnet to vnet lab as well and also side to side so both labs are configured i have very few amount left to be honest on my uh, subscription that's the reason i'm not performing any more uh, uh lab <laughs> and i have to delete everything so this is this is something that you guys need to perform not me to be honest so that you can learn so the first point is create vnets or create two virtual networks okay same region different region does not matter this is vnet to vnet connectivity two vpn gateway in each vnet then create connection and provide the information of gateways and you will find under status it would be connected or provisioning status it's uh, deployed so these are these two laps you should perform uh, just to confirm the vpn gateway uh, information that we have gathered the session that you have seen is good enough for you guys and one more thing just wanted to show you in case you guys face some issues under the gateway there are some beautiful things you should go in the uh, help section under help se section there is something called reset okay if you find any issue with the with with your uh, vpn gateway to click on reset twice because there are more than one vms it will reboot the vm okay this is something they should be aware of and we also have uh, <clears throat> because there is no connection established as of now if you initiate the connection and connection gets established you will have one more thing which is vpn troubleshooting and you can use that to find out what is wrong with your gateway or your connection you can use that as well under vpn troubleshooting so these are two important things i wanted to share with that let's close this session thank you for watching and you guys have a wonderful day Bye-bye.